Welcome to our Friday playlist. This week's theme is Thanksgiving because this coming Sunday is Thanksgiving Sunday. You might reasonably ask, what do we, what do we have to be thankful for? What with thousands dying every day of COVID-19? What with a as yet unresolved election? What with uh, thousands of people, victims of flood and hurricane all over this hemisphere? What is there to be thankful for? One of the most iconic Thanksgiving hymns, Now Thank We All Our God, comes from just this kind of setting. Only it was the 1600s. Martin Rinkert was a Lutheran pastor in a German city. It was the Thirty Years' War, and his city had been overrun three times by fighting armies. And in the midst of a bubonic plague epidemic in his town, he ended up being the only pastor left alive, and he was performing 50 funerals a day. That's when he wrote, Now thank we all our God, with hearts and hands and voices, in whom the who wondrous things is done and in whom this world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our ways with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. Another famous Thanksgiving hymn, We Gather Together, comes from that same war, that same time, only now from the Dutch perspective. The Dutch had fought for decades to be freed from the yoke of oppression of the Spanish Empire. There had been unspeakable loss on both sides, unspeakable suffering. Finally, the Dutch gained their freedom, and this hymn was written to celebrate their freedom. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing now cease from distressing sing praises to his name he forgets not his own my final selection for this week's playlist is a contemporary christian worship hymn by matt redmond it's titled ten thousand reasons matt redmond was raised in work working class england in the 1970s he began recording in the 1980s and he has since become one of the most famous voices in contemporary Christian music. Redmond said of 10,000 Reasons, it's about the many, many reasons there are to worship God. And of course, when I say 10,000 reasons, that's understatement. When it comes to worship, there is an eternity of reasons to respond to God and his worth. He writes, you're rich in love, and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on singing 10,000 reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I'll worship your holy name. All the songs are on YouTube. I recommend that you search for the Garrison Keeler version of Now Thank We All Our God. It's entertaining. And the Matt Redman version of 10,000 Reasons. In spite of all that's going on in our world, I still claim what Psalm 107 has to say. Let us give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, for his wonderful deeds for people. Thank you for listening.